Hello and welcome to the Helios blog. Today I'm going to be talking about the lies men tell themselves. In psychology there's a term called rationalization. When people are faced with failure or rejection in order to preserve their egos many people will resort to these. These rationalizations are sometimes the very things that hold us back from success. We lie to ourselves in order to make ourselves feel better, dooming ourselves to a life of desperation and failure. I would much rather face the lies I tell myself, deal with them and experience a life worth living, than wallow in them and die a slow death of quiet desperation. Wouldn't you? If you're willing to experience discomfort in order to live an actual good life, listen on. Enjoying my content? Check out my blog at heliosblog.com. On YouTube, you can support me by liking and subscribing. I'm also on Spotify if you prefer a podcast. If you're interested in my books, The Strategist's Guide to Seduction and Quotes to Live By, they're available on Amazon. In addition, you can follow me on Patreon at The Helios Blog for exclusive content. On with the show. Here are some of the lives people tell themselves that prevent them from living a good life. Number one, I'm not good enough. Many men just tell themselves this self-defeating lie and leave it at that. Obviously, this is idiotic and a total waste of everyone's time. Just be honest with yourself. You are good enough, you're just taking the easy road. It's easy to say that you have no value and instantly stop working and struggling, falling into a depression. You would be good enough if you fought for it. What you're saying with this statement is actually that you're unwilling to put in the effort required in order to succeed. If you would stop lying to yourself and put in the effort, you'd be fine. Number two, I'm insert race here. Many guys excuse their failures with women and life in general by their race. They say they were born a certain way and therefore they're not able to succeed as others have. This is utterly ridiculous. If you look at history, it's full of great men from all races. They have one thing in common, however. They're not little bitches. They worked and struggled and overcame their problems in order to succeed. You're lying to yourself when you say your race is your problem. Your race is not the problem. You are. You are not willing to struggle and fight for what you want, and so you get nothing. When you don't fight for yourself, no one else will either. Why should they care if you don't give a shit? Number three. I don't have enough money. Some people are born with a rich daddy. Most are not. Blaming your lack of success with women on a lack of money is ridiculous as a result. How do hobos or starving artists get laid then? They have no money either. Your attitude is what's keeping you from getting laid, not your money. You should develop all aspects of yourself so that you're an attractive person to the core. Once you are, you'll see that money isn't that important. Money should be for yourself and not for your women anyway. Number four, I don't have enough time. You don't have enough time to invest in one of the things that will make you actually happy? Remain miserable then. You deserve it. It's such a bullshit excuse that you don't have enough time. If you have enough time to smoke a blunt once a week, you have enough time to go out and meet women. If you don't even have time to smoke a blunt once a week, I'm afraid you have much bigger problems than women. Get your poverty situation sorted first so that you have some semblance of free time, then go and pursue your dreams. You do not deserve to live in such squalid conditions. Number five, I'm too lazy. This is the root of all your problems. At least you're self-aware enough to know that this is the lie you tell yourself. Solve your laziness problem. Actually do something other than lay on your ass. If you want to be successful in this life, you're unfortunately going to need to struggle and bleed for it. I cannot do that for you, and neither can anyone else. I'm telling you that if you remain lazy, you're going to be a failure for the rest of your life. Guaranteed. You cannot get something from nothing. If you put zero effort into this life, you will receive nothing in return. When you receive nothing as a result of your own laziness, do not complain and cry to anyone. It is your fault. Die miserable. Loser. Number six. I'm too short. This one unfortunately does hurt you quite a lot with women, I'm afraid. Those of you unfortunate enough to be born short got the shit end of the stick. You have to work twice as hard as anyone else in order to succeed. It is possible, however, and don't let anyone tell you otherwise. 
A silver lining to being short is that you get jacked much quicker. For a short guy to get jacked like a male model, it takes around three years. For a tall guy, it takes ten. This means that you can have an Instagram-worthy body as a short guy quite fast. Get cracking on that beautiful body and watch your results soar. Number seven, I'm too fat. This one also hurts you with women, but not as much as you think. If you can get your body weight to the upper end of normal, you can get laid like a warlord. Some women specifically like this body type, especially if you have muscles, the lumberjack build. You can't be obese though. If you are obese, you're going to have to make some major life changes in order to become attractive to women. You need to learn how to eat and how much you can afford to eat in order to create that beautiful body you need in order to attract women. Also, do some exercise, fatty. You can't sit on the couch all day and expect women to come sit on your dick. Come on. A person who invests in himself is a person worth investing in. Invest in yourself before you expect anything from anyone. Number eight, I'm too skinny. This is the opposite problem from fat guys. Fat guys eat too much and skinny guys eat too little. Even if it's painful for you, you're going to have to up your calorie intake. Buy a lot. Count your calories. In the case of some of you, you might even have to double how much you eat. If you increase your calorie intake and don't work out, you're going to have a bad time. Make sure that you combine increasing your caloric intake with regular intense exercise to put your muscles into hypertrophy. This will grow your muscles over time and you'll create a nice body for yourself. Problem solved. Number nine, I'm depressed. If you have clinical depression, then your cognitive behavioral therapy likely tells you that exercise is good for depression. Also, breaking, breaking out of the negative spirals in your life needs to happen. You can start by fixing just one aspect of yourself. Afterwards, fix another. As you build yourself up, you'll find that your confidence increases and your depression lessens. Eventually, you'll start to get laid and this will even further boost how you feel about yourself. Depression gone. If you have deep, dark, extreme depression, I'm afraid only serious psychiatric help will do the trick and you're going to have to consult them for advice. If you have beta male depression, which is the shitty way you feel about yourself and you're not getting laid, then my advice on this blog will help you to solve the problem. Read everything on this site and try to internalize it. You'll be surprised how well it works at fixing the major things in your life. Number 10. I live in Insert City here. A lot of people blame their lack of success on their city. I live in Tokyo, therefore I can't get laid. It's total bullshit. Unless you live in a 150 people small town, in which case you should move away, you can get laid there. You simply need to learn and practice. The city is not the problem. You are. Once you acknowledge that you are the problem, you can work to fix it. Once you fix the problems within you, you'll feel an extreme sense of confidence and control as you realize that the power is in you to change the whole time. Conclusion There are many self-defeating excuses out there that people use to rationalize why they aren't getting laid or why they're a failure in the world. Here is a list to recap. Number one, I'm not good enough. Number two, I'm an insert race here. Number three, I don't have enough money. Number four, I don't have enough time. Number five, I'm too lazy. Number six, I'm too short. Number seven, I'm too fat. Number eight, I'm too skinny. Number nine, I'm depressed. Number ten, I live in insert city here. The majority of the things in this list can be boiled down to this point. I am simply too lazy to fix my own problems. If more people would put in the effort to fix themselves, we would have a world full of alpha males. We would have a world where guys could get laid and wouldn't complain so much. Work on fixing yourself and you'll quickly see yourself rise above the pack. Good luck.